Shalom friends, welcome to Duff Reactions, Kid 2 Boat 10. What happens when a newly married couple has sex for the very first time and the husband thinks, how shall we put it? She had already given her Netflix password to somebody else. He thinks she wasn't a virgin. And in that case, he paid way too much to marry her because virgins are more expensive. So in today's stuff, we have several stories of new husbands bringing exactly this type of accusation to the rabbis. First, we have a man who was not previously married who goes to Rav Nachman with this accusation. But Rav Nachman is like, you know what I find a real suspicious? You seem really confident about what you think you know for a man who's never been married before. There may indeed be a hoe in the story, and it might be you. Come here, go flog this guy with palm branches. So another husband goes to Rabban Gamliel and is like, I encountered an unobstructed orifice. And Rabban Gamliel is like, have you considered that you just entered at a weird angle or something? Another man, another complaint to Rabban Gamliel. But this time the bride has something to say. She says, Rabbi, I was indeed a virgin. It just so happens that my new husband is an idiot. So now we have a he said, she said, who to believe? The evidence. Rabban Gamliel takes the sheets that they had sex on and washes them, thus washing off the semen that had obscured the blood. There are far too many bodily fluids involved in this, thank you. She was indeed telling the truth. So another couple comes to Rabban Gamliel and the husband's like, she was not a virgin. And the bride is like, dude, I still am. That's how bad you are at this. So Rabban Gamliel knew of a different method to try and find out if somebody was a virgin or not. So before actually testing this on the bride, he tested it out on two maids. So he makes them sit on wine barrels and then they smell their breath. The idea here is that a woman who had indeed previously had sex would not have a hymen to seal in the freshness so that the wine smell would go up through her vagina and come out of her mouth which isn't possible because those things are not anatomically connected. Now the breath of the woman who had indeed had sex before smelled like the wine, but the other maid just smelled like Listerine. So once they tested this on the two servants, okay, they thought, all right, this works in theory, let's bring in the bride. And she did not smell like wine. So Robin Gamliel was able to tell the husband that Great news, there was nothing to worry about. She was indeed still a virgin. Now I do indeed have a personal theory about this. That maid probably had to get really, really drunk to deal with <laughs> this level of bullshit. And that is very relatable, my friends. I mean, who, who can't relate to that one?